Hello. Today I want to show a rather simple but very powerful feature that I just added to Node-RED. So I'm looking in the Node-RED collection and I'm, I'm searching for shared workflows and currently I don't see any. I also have a, a Node-RED running as LN6 and I have a Node-RED running as LN10. So if I if I update one of these, so if I move this and click deploy, this will of course only affect that node red. Nothing happens to the other one. But if I add another tab, and this tab I will be naming something with two underscores. This will tell the storage provider that I want to mark this as a shared workflow. So once I click deploy, it tags that tab. This also works with subflows, by the way. Um, and that means that now it knows this is a shared workflow. So if I go over here and reload, you can see that it now sees a shared flow called underscore underscore flow too. So now I can go back and, and call this my shared uh, flow as an example. Um, and, and what happens now is that if I go to the database, it now knows it's called my shared flow instead. Um, and again, I can update it. Um, and as you can see, it gets updated inside the database. Um, so now I want to share that with Alan 6, which currently only have one tab. So I can simply go in, go to the access control list. I can share it with Alan 6 and I click save. And as soon as I do that, Alan 6 recognizes that there's now a shared flow it has access to. It wants to reload. And if I merge it, I now have access to my shared flow. <coughs> this means that we, either one of those can now actually update the workflow. So if I go to Alan 6 and I move that over here and click deploy, you will see that Alan 10 instantly sees that there was an update and if I merge it, it now has that update. So, and again, from Alan 10, I can update the workflow and now um, Alan 6 sees that change and I can now see it. So that way I can now control a tap between multiple node reds which still have their own flows that is not affected by this. So, so the thing that becomes a little bit tricky with this is um, I, I could try and add some logic that when you delete this tab, then, you know, it removes the user, maybe it deletes it from the database, but what if other node reds are using it? Um, if I u remove the user, then what would happen if only one user has access to it? You know, it, it becomes messy. So for now, the way that we handle that is simply by, um, let's reload this. So now both uh, nodes can see it. So the way that we remove this from the view is we can simply go into the database. And if you want to remove it so no one can see it anymore, um, you know, if you want to remove one user, you remove the user from the object. But if you want to remove it from everyone, you can simply go in and delete it. And each of the nodes will then see that now it's gone. And um, as you can see, now it's uh, gone from both node rats. Um, so, you know, it may be not super user friendly, but, you know, it gets the job done. Um, enjoy.